Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and another fishing video from the River Severn. So today I'm headed to the Hampton Low B section on the Birmingham Anglers Association ticket. This is a stretch that I've not fished before but I have walked the banks quite a few times so I'm quite familiar with it. I'll show you the access, car parking, I'll show you the stretch itself. We'll get a peg selected, get some lines in the water and hopefully pick up one or two barbel for the video. So the access for the stretch is here, off the bridge off the Highley Road. Left hand turn, if you're coming from the bridge off direction, sign posted for the Unicorn Inn. It's quite tight down here, but you follow the road down, it's about a mile and a half, straight down the bank towards the river at the bottom. So keep following the road down, Got the Hampton Load, Seven Valley Station there on the right hand side. Once you get a bit further down here, you go past that phone box. So the road peels round to the left there, that's the Unicorn Inn. So straight past that. And just at the bottom here is the car park. The BAA stretch. It's like somebody's on here already. So we'll get ourselves parked up. And there's the river down in the bottom. This is an area on the stretch that lots of people like to fish. Lots of room here with the level being so low. Bob will tend to hold up in this darker section of the water here. Plenty of room here for three or four anglers side by side. Mr. Swan out for an early morning flight. What a gorgeous scene. So I'm going to set up in this peg today. Plenty of space. A lot of ducks about this morning. But just over here we've got the island at the end of the Hampton Road B section. There's plenty of water here, nice and deep. Lots of space to work with, so let's get set up, get some lines in the water. Right, quick look at the baiting approach for today's session then. So I'm gonna mix up some ground bait in a second. We've got the uh, CKO flavored ground bait from Vortex, nice and bright. Lots of attraction in that. I'm gonna run a load of hemp through that as well. So there's a nice mix. I haven't got any boily today, so it's going to be a, a pellet day as far as hook baits concerned. I've got the CKO flavour, we'll get them out on the left hand rod, and the Frankfurter Spice and Red Salmon, we'll put that out on the right hand rod, see how we get along with both of those. Just to get some attraction in the area as well, little mesh bags, four mil pellet, every cast, get lots of little individual food items in the river to get the fish grubbing around. I've got plenty of spare pellet there that I'm going to make up a load more of those mesh bags because that's not going to keep me going for too long. That'll get the session started but I'll be making some of those up as we go along and yeah that's the approach to today's session. So the left hand rod's now out, aimed just for that darker section of water there, in line with that tall tree on the far margin as a marker. Done three quick casts just to get some ground bait out into the area, just get some scent and attraction into the swim. Gonna get the right hand rod out now, and just to start with, I'm gonna send that just 
into that darker section over there just in line with that V in the tree line on the far margin. So that's uh, both rods out now then and uh, fishing so uh, one thing I would say is that that walk from the car park uh, down to the end of the stretch here down by the island is a lot further than I remember actually and uh, when I last walked it I wasn't carrying a load of gear with me so uh, it's probably about a mile to a mile and a half something like that good 15 to 20 minute walk so if you are going to take this peg on and uh, you, you fancy a dart down here then do travel as light as you can because uh, yeah it is quite a stretch down here but hopefully it's going to be worth it over the rest of the session. Just going to get plenty of loose feed hemp out into the swim. Build it up over the early part of the session. Two or three catties over either spot. All the downstream rods peeled off. Okay, first fish of the session then. On that downstream rod, it was the salmon and Frank to pellet. It did the bite. A couple of quick taps and then straight over. Beautiful chub, four pound ten ounces. That'll do very nicely to get started. Well, five minutes of madness. So I was just releasing that chub there off the right hand rod. I literally just let go of the fish and uh, had seen it uh, sink back into the depths and the left hand rod has absolutely took off. Real aggressive take. So I've picked the rod up, lifted into it and almost immediately the fish has got itself snagged up mid-river so I've put the rod back on the rest give it a couple of minutes and thankfully of its own accord it's took off and uh, left the snag itself I've got it netted now it's a barbel first of the session so let's get it on the mat and have a look just get it washed off so this come on the left hand rod on the CKO pellet we have a faithful CKO that's done Lots of bites for me so far this season. Let's get that piece of grass off you, mate. Here we go. Seven and a half pounds. Not massive, but put up a great fight. There we go. First barbell of the session. That'll do very nicely. Right, so both rods are back out again now. That's the scene behind me. Gorgeous morning. A little bit of rain starting to come down now. I've just topped up the spots with some loose feed, some pellet in the catty, a little bit of hemp. Each of the hook baits has gone back out with one of those mesh bags on, so uh, we'll just keep feeding the spots. It's great that we've got two spots working already, which that bodes well for the rest of the session. Hopefully we can keep the fish in the area. So let's keep topping it up. Hopefully a few more bites to come over the next couple of hours. There's that chub there. Not going to put this one on the mat. It's probably around the three pound mark. Not very welcome, as you can see, once they get going. There we 
we go. Gorgeous looking chub. Off you go, pal. It's that left hand rod again, CKO pellet once again doing the bite. Right, time for a quick tactical change. So we uh, just had a couple more small chubs. So there's quite a shell of those out there today in front of us. So uh, I want to give the, the bait enough time uh, for the barbel to, to find it. So at the minute, the chub are picking it up within a couple of minutes of the, the rod being in the water. So just going to lengthen the hair quite a bit to hopefully um, stop the chub hooking themselves. They'll still mouth the bait and pick the rig up, but uh, hopefully that'll give enough time for the barbel to get in the swim, find the hook bait, and we can pick up a couple of bites. Well, just refreshing the right hand rod. The bite's come on my left hand rod. Feels a better fish. Yeah, the feeling that one was a barbell there, so the rig change worked, which is good. So this one's lost the top part of its tail. It's like six pound six. Ooh, wait there, mate. There we go. Left hand rod on that CKO pellet again. do very nicely nice to get second barbel there so uh, both barbel on the left hand rod so far which is a CKO the right hand rod which is on the uh, Frankfurter and salmon has done nothing but chub so far so uh, we'll give it another hour just to see if that trend continues if it does then we'll switch both rods onto the CKO and see if we can get a barbel on the right hand rod as well Sun's out now, it's gone really bright. Bites have dried up over the last half an hour. It's probably not surprising in these conditions, but we'll stick at it a bit longer yet. Hopefully there's one or two more barbel that we can uh, pick up before the end of the session. Some rod has absolutely melted. Definite barbel bite. This is the first one to try to uh, make off upstream. A lot of tapping going on, head shakes. Well, third barbell of the session, all on the left hand rod. Getting smaller though. Just over five pound. Oh, and a lively one. There we go. Dorsal up. What a little seven stunner. So that's both rods back out again. And what I've done now is tighten the two rods together. So just aiming at the far bank 
around those sort of spots there. The left hand rod has done all the barbel so far so I've just tightened the right rod across just to try and understand is it spot specific or is it bait specific. So the left hander's got that CKO on, the right hander's got the Frankfurter and salmon pellet so just try and work out by process of elimination is it that they want the CKO or is it the spot that's doing the bites. Well busy got 10 minutes in between bites here just tying up some more mesh bags. I always try and have about 10 or 12 of these ready to go at any one given time. That's it, that should keep me going for the rest of the session. So tightening the right hand rod up has worked. Well, first barbel on the right hand rod then, so that change has paid off. And this is a, a better stamp of fish than the first three. Let's just get it washed off. Okay. Look at that. Nine pound 14 ounces. Ooh, just tensing up a tad. Really powerful barbel. Bit of tail damage again on this one. Oh, that's a gorgeous fish. Let's have a quick look at the other side of this one. There we go. What a cracker. So this has turned out to be a really enjoyable morning's fishing. Considering I've not fished this stretch before, this is a new peg, fresh water, to have spots out there producing multiple barbel and we've had one to just under £10, which is an absolute conker for the River Severn. You can't be anything other than chuffed with that. I'm going to give it about another hour, see if there's one or two more bites to come, but if there's no further action from here, then it's been a thoroughly enjoyable morning's fishing. Well, one last barbel to finish the session. That left hand rod again. Yeah. Let's get you calmed down. There we go. Eight pound two. What a cracking way to finish. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Plenty more to come as the season goes on, so uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one again soon.